What's going on, YouTube fam? Rockefeller back for another video. I hope all of you guys are doing well. We're back with Samsung's new Q990D soundbar for 2024. Last year, I bought the Q990C and have been thoroughly enjoying it with my family. Uh, we've been using it with this QN900B 8K television. Prior to the Q990C, I purchased the Q990B and I purchased it twice and had uh, connection issues. So I ended up taking it back and just waiting for the Q990C. So I've been able to spend some time with Samsung's new soundbar, the Q990D. We'll sift through my findings together. Stick around. I always wanted to say this. For shizzle. All right, guys, the Samsung Q990D is Samsung's top of the line soundbar offering for 2024. The overall look and feel is very similar to last year's Q990C. It has an 11.1.4 speaker configuration with two rear speakers with upfiring drivers. So 11 front facing speakers, one subwoofer, two rears with upfiring drivers, which is a total of 22 speakers. It has 656 watts of total power. The Q990D also sports a dark black finish compared to last year's dark gray finish. And once again, this new soundbar from Samsung uses Q-Symphony, which allows you to pair a Samsung TV with a Samsung soundbar. With Q-Symphony, your TV speakers and soundbar speakers work together as one to optimize sound. The Q990D again offers wireless Dolby Atmos, so you can skip the HDMI cable connection and experience your entertainment without cable clutter. There's also smart integration available, so you can connect your devices and use your favorite voice assistants and smart services like built-in Alexa, Chromecast, and AirPlay. The Q990D's SpaceFoot Sound Pro offers sound calibration while using the soundbar. It analyzes your environment and automatically optimizes the audio accordingly. Game Mode Pro optimizes sound further to enhance the gaming experience. Also, you can once again tap your phone on the soundbar and start listening to music with a tap function. The Q990D also has AVA, active voice amplification, and it's back to ensure dialogue and commentary are not being drowned out. The Q990D also comes with Rune support. Some of the playable movie sound formats are DTSX, DTS HD, Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD, and Dolby Digital Plus. Sound modes include surround sound, game mode pro, standard, and adaptive sound. Regarding gaming, the Q990D can now pass through 4K at 120 Hertz VRR with its HDMI 2.1 ports. Okay, guys, so right now I have been playing with the soundbar to see about the capabilities for 4K at 120. After some toggling and playing around and getting everything situated, I've come to find out that HDMI port 2 does not work on this soundbar. It's just anything, anything that I plug up into it, whether it be the Xbox, the PlayStation, does not work. So it wouldn't be the first time that I've had an issue with the Samsung soundbar. The Q990B in the past gave me issues. I had to return that one twice. So for whatever reason, I cannot get HDMI port 2 to work. So yeah, right now I've been able to get everything up and running. The Xbox is um, acknowledging 4K at 120. The TV has to be able to run 4K at 120. Your device, whether it be a PC, PS5, or Xbox Series X has to be able to run it. Um, 4K 120 and the games. Say I'm running Halo. Halo will work because it can be ran at 4K 120. If you were to run something like Forza or you know Modern Warfare 2019, it will not uh, do 4K at 120. It'll kick down to 1080p at 120 or something like that. So with that being said, I have everything ready to go for this. Let's go into uh, to Halo Infinite here. Let's go ahead and toggle on the game bar and we'll see what we're getting. Okay, so our 4K, 120 hertz, VRR is on. Now, the one thing that I did see, you cannot have Q-Symphony engaged. Q-Symphony will not engage with this. Um, it, there's no offering there. Um, whatever you run through here will only be able to use um, the soundbar, will not be able to use Q-Symphony, which is the soundbar and TV speakers together. All right, so let's get over to the PlayStation 5 and let's take a look at the 4K 120 setup. Okay, guys, so now we're using the PlayStation 5. 
And let's go into the settings here and take a look at screen and video. Okay, so the resolution is 2160p, 4K. VR is automatic. 120 hertz should be automatic as well. Everything's good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and turn on the game bar. And once again, guys, as you can see down at the bottom, you cannot toggle Q-Symphony on when you're running anything through the sound bar. It only will use uh, either TV speaker, sound bar, headphones, uh, if you have a Bluetooth speaker, of course, um, or if you're doing something optical out. But yeah, I mean, it won't it won't engage Q-Symphony if you're trying to get one of your uh, gadgets to run through here. All right. So now we know that 4K and 120 uh, does work on the Xbox and PlayStation. I don't have a PC to test right now. 4K at 120 does work on this, but I would definitely use the TV's port to give you the best image quality um, when it comes to games. I'll go ahead and throw up some of the dimensions for the Q990D regarding the, the width, the height, the depth, and the weight. All right, guys, let's take a moment to listen to the Q990D while playing games, watching movies, and watching sports. Overall, the Q990D has tighter bass from the sub, so if you listen to a lot of music, the Q990D is more versatile than before, being great for movies and now music. It is definitely a little more composed. If you can grab the Q90C, it is still phenomenal for movies, although maybe not as great overall for music playback. To get the full benefit of the Q990D's height effects, you need a low, flat ceiling. If you have a vaulted or very high ceiling, the up-firing speakers may not be as noticeable. Overall, the setup is pretty simple. The main soundbar unit and rear speaker should automatically sync with each other, while Samsung's SmartThing app takes you through Wi-Fi connection and audio calibration. The overall cohesive delivery this year seems to be slightly more refined with more poise, but still very similar to the overall output of last year's Q990C. The sound is tighter and the subwoofer is better integrated into the low end of the audio. If you want the convenience of a space-saving soundbar system without compromising on overall sonic quality, then the Q990D or C is a go. And compared to something like the Nakamichi Dragon, you don't have to mortgage your future. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. The Q990C is still an amazing soundbar overall, guys. But from the time that I was able to spend with the Q990D, it just seems a little bit more refined. And so I would say it's a small step up from the Q990C. The Q990D seems like Samsung went in the direction of Sonos to um, appease people that listen to music. And so now you have a more well-rounded um, soundbar. Whereas last year's Q990C, I said it was great for movies and good for music. This year, it's pretty much great for movies and it's pretty great for music as well. It seems like Samsung has swung the pendulum towards music and that's good for everybody because you want a balanced soundbar if you're going to have one in your house or apartment. For movies, the Q990C might just crest the Q990D for movies. But when it comes to music, the Q990D is the clear winner. For gaming, the Q990D is the clear winner. So would I recommend this to the masses? Absolutely yes, guys. If you can get a Q990C for a cheaper price, I mean, it's still a phenomenal soundbar, guys. This is a little bit more dialed in, and so this is one that you definitely want to keep your eyes on this year for 2024. Sonically, it sounds amazing. A lot of you guys ask me overall, is this a major jump over the Q990C? It's not, but they're cleaning up any slight inadequacies from last year. And so it's just, it's a slight improvement. The year over year, that's usually how things progress in tech. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you like this type of content, like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Like I always say, I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe and game on. Peace. That's my store. I'm sticking to it.